Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to film a really quick get ready with me type no makeup makeup tutorial. I always have trouble with this part. I never know how to describe my makeup. So I just wanted to do a quick no makeup makeup for, you know, going back to school. I usually don't even wear makeup to my classes, but if I do, this is about it. Not as much as I'm going to give. So I just wanted to film a really fast easy get ready with me tutorial so if you guys are interested in how I got this look then just keep on watching alright so let's get started on my no makeup makeup so I just freshly cleaned my face I'm breaking out a little bit in these areas but um I just want and it's also really red because I exfoliated because I've been using this stuff it's um just a prescription cream that I've been trying out and it kind of is a spot lightening treatment but it, it's kind of like a little mini chem chemical peel and it just makes your skin peel off so it's really red due to that um so I just washed and exfoliated my face so now I'm just gonna go in and moisturize with my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel I just do about three pumps of that I'm gonna rub that on. I love this stuff because it makes my face, it moisturizes, but it doesn't make it oily or anything like that. Always bring it down the neck too. <clears throat> okay, and then after that, I'm just gonna go in with this other stuff I've been trying. I've got a lot of samples since I've been at work. This is just that Alginist, um, it's just an anti-aging eye cream, but it's just really moisturizing, and since I've been since I have started doing the whole baking trend, it does dry out your under eyes a little bit, I've noticed. So I've just been applying this in the morning and at night just to keep my eyes moisturized. Okay, so then, now that that's done, I'm just going to go in and prime my face since it is red using the L'Oreal Magic Anti Redness Primer. So this is a green based primer, so this is going to um, cancel out any redness I have. So. I'll go ahead and apply it to one side just so you can see the difference that it makes. So as you can see, this side is definitely redder than that side, so I'm just going to go in and do the other side now. Next step is concealer. I'm just going to go in with this concealer from Bare Minerals. It's um, a serum infused concealer. This is just in the lightest shade, um, Fair. And I like this one because it's a really light coverage, but it still covers. And it looks really natural on the skin. So I'm just so, and my trick for my no makeup makeup is you only need to apply it in the places that you need it. So if I was doing my everyday makeup, I would apply, you know, foundation or BB cream or something like that all over my face. But with no makeup makeup, you really just kind of want to stick to spot concealing and correcting any redness you have. Not doing full coverage, obviously. You could tell you with makeup. So then I'm just going to blend that in with a little beauty blender. I'm using this little mini one because I can't find my other one. So, to do kind of. So far, now I'm just gonna go in with my Benefit Do the Hula. This is just a matte liquid bronzer. I think when you're doing no makeup makeup looks, it's important to stick to liquid stains and creams just because the powder is so obvious on your face. Your face just has a very natural dew, so I just try to keep that. <laughs> I just noticed that I didn't blend my jawline, sorry. So I just try to keep that natural dew as much as I can. So I'm just gonna take this bronzer on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna do about two pumps. And I'm gonna take a just buffing brush and I'm gonna pop some on my forehead, on the nose a little bit, on the cheeks. And 
and that'll probably be it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with this brush. Blend it into the hairline, and I take a little bit on my eyelids just to give the illusion of eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Kind of doing dabbing motions rather than what else do you call it? That's done. Now for blush, I'm just going to go in with some Posy Tint from Benefit. And I love these little teeny tiny ones because I really don't use that much. And this will last me quite a while. So I bought a little kit with Posy Tint, Cha Cha Tint, and then the, the little bin of tint. So I have all three of them. And they're pretty season size samples. So I like that better than just getting one big one personally. Because, I don't know, it's just fun to switch up. So I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks and take that same brush and blend that out. Put some on my nose. You have to be really fast though when you put this stuff on because it like instantly stains. By the way, I got a new lighting system, so that's exciting. Tell me if you guys like it down below. Um, so yes, after that, I'm just going to set my T-zone with some loose translucent powder. This one's from IT Cosmetics, and it's the Bye Bye Pores. And I'm just going to take what's in the lid, because I really don't want to use a lot. I'm going to keep that nice dewy finish. So after setting my face, I'm just going to go in with um, this Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer, and this is just brown. So it's a really natural looking lash definition. It's not even mascara, but I like that it conditions my eyelashes while I'm not wearing any makeup. As you can see, let me zoom in. It makes a difference, but it's not mascara, so technically it's not makeup. And then after that, I'm just gonna stain my lips with a little bit of my posy tint. Wipe off any makeup I've got on there. And then I'm just going to put on some moisturizer, or not moisturizer, lip balm. This is just my rosebud one from, I don't even know who, Smith's, whoever that is. I've had this for so long. That's done. Now I'm just going to go in and add my, a few little fake freckles on my nose. I already have a video on my fake freckles, so I'll just link that down below and you can watch it there. I'll just skip through this part. Alrighty, so I'm back. Last thing I'm going to do is just define my brows a wee tiny bit, just because they are a little bit lighter than my hair color. And it's just good to keep your eyebrows tamed when you're not wearing much makeup. So I'm just going to comb through those and lightly fill them in. A difference. Alrighty, so there you have it. My no makeup makeup routine. 
So I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, go ahead and give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.